Hey, what's going on guys? Austin D here with D&D Gaming, uh, bringing you another episode of Final Fantasy XV. Um, in the first three parts, uh, Johnny D uh, was the actual one that was playing and commentating. Uh, that was a live stream that we actually did earlier. Um, this video is just a uh, gameplay recording, not a live stream, so this will be recorded a little bit differently, um, and the video, of course, will be done a little bit differently. Uh, so go ahead and leave a comment guys uh, down below uh, letting me know whether or not you guys find this uh, series entertaining uh, If you guys want to see more Final uh, Fantasy 15 videos um, And then any other games that you guys want to see us play just go ahead and leave those down in the comments below as well uh, We definitely check those out and we respond to those so uh, just be sure to get that out there so that we know um, And that we can bring you uh, the the games that you guys want to see and hopefully uh, you know you will find it entertaining so uh, what we're gonna do this episode episode um, is I think we're gonna go ahead and continue doing the main storyline mission um, if there's any side missions that come up then you know we'll, we'll go ahead and take them but uh, yeah we're just gonna go ahead and do the next main mission here and it looks like um, we need to go to uh, I'm gonna butcher this name uh, Galadin Koi uh, <laughs> Totally butchered that, I know. So let's go ahead and uh, jump here in the car, and we are going to go ahead and. Well, I was going to say boat on over there, but this isn't a boat. I guess it's built like a boat. I, got, I bet you anything, if this car uh, was real, um, if I was actually driving it right now, more than likely it would probably drive like a boat. Um, my wife and I, we, we have a few different cars, but uh, yeah, I, I have a 2002 uh, Mercury Grand Marquis, and it's it's a, it's like a mix between a Lincoln Town car uh, and a Ford Crown Victoria, and let me just tell you right now, that car drives like a boat, like no joke, uh, and it definitely gets up and going. I mean, it's got a 4.6 liter engine. Uh, anyway, enough talking about that. Let's just go ahead and uh, go ahead and go to the quest location here. Uh, looks like it's going to take about two minutes to go uh, do the active quest. Uh, the Ready Aaron for more? Prince. You bet. Let's hit it. Let's hit it. <laughs> I like these guys, the way that they dialogue. Amazing. I mean, this game in general is just absolutely amazing. It's beautiful. I think there's a main... Uh, for our next story, yeah, Lady Luna Freya of Tenebrae has issued an official statement regarding the forthcoming treaty. Words cannot express. The joy in my heart on receiving word of this coming peace, nor the pride I take in my betrothal playing a part in this historic moment. On this joyous occasion, some have voiced cause for concern. The fear I will be unable to fulfill my duties as Oracle. Please rest assured, my marriage will not stand in the way of my calling. You will find me in your towns and villages, as you always have. And I shall continue to bless you all. Lady Luna Freya will set forth from Tenebrae for her wedding ceremony in the coming days. Please be advised that during this time alone, her duties as Oracle will be suspended. It's in the treaty? Of course. Simple formality. One of those symbol of the peace deals. So it's more like a marriage of convenience. Her ladyship seems nevertheless amenable to the prospect. And Noctir likes the idea. <sighs> What's that? I do? Buzz off. <laughs> the dialogue in this game is absolutely amazing. Uh, so anyway, I felt like that was uh, important to the storyline. Um, so I, w what I'm going to go ahead and do here, guys, is it it's not going to be much longer. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and uh, skip this with the magic of video editing. Uh, up all right, so we are here um, at the huh. next mission location. We're gonna go ahead and take a walk here. Um, go ahead and walk on over to that place. Ready to set sail? Just gotta find my sea legs first. <laughs> Better hurry. I. <laughs> the dialogue in this game, like I said, just absolutely, absolutely hilarious. Um, anyway, yeah, no, the graphics in this game are absolutely amazing. Um, that car, though, man. That car, though. Honestly, this is like a really cool like location. You would think that uh, we would have to pay like a toll or something to come out here. You know, like one of those security guards at the front gate being like, hey, you guys, you guys gotta pay up. And so, what do you guys think you're your wearing coming your in here like that? I've got another pair. Oh. Welcome to Golden Key. Yep, there was, sorta. <laughs> I'm afraid you're out of luck. Are we? The boats bring you here. What about them? Well, they'll not take you forth. And what's your story? 
I'm an impatient traveler, ready to turn ship. The ceasefire's getting us nowhere. <laughs> What's this? Some sort of souvenir? <gasps> they make those? What? No. Consider it your allowance. Uh huh? Yeah. And who's allowing us? A man of no consequence. Oh, yeah, right. Oh. Oh. Do you believe what that guy said about the port being closed? I'm skeptical, though I won't discount the possibility. I say we go check it out for ourselves. Yeah, let's go check it out. I don't trust that guy. That guy was kind of a dick. I know they give you different stats and stuff, like different boost, but I didn't actually realize that you could actually order food here. I'm sure it's heck of expensive, though. What's all this about the port closing? Some kind of holdup in Altitia. Guess we have to stay another night. Huh, eavesdropping. I'm sorry about that, guys. Just wanted to eavesdrop on their conversation. They were talking about the dock closing uh, and everything. Man, night. not a ship in sight. What gives? So we completed that errand. What's all this so the port closing. <sighs> Some kind of holdup in Altitia. Guess we have to stay another night. According to my sources, the Empire given strict orders not to let any vessels leave the docks of Altitia. Real shame if you were late to your own wedding, right, Prince Noctus? Name's Dino, by the way. Pleasure. The Crown Prince of Lucis bounty hunting in his fancy car. Surely you didn't think it'd go unnoticed. At least not by this reporter. Lucky for you, this reporter has integrity. If you want to remain incognito, I'll respect your wish. In exchange for a favor. What do you want? You want a story? Yeah, that's right. Oh well, yeah, I forgot they only give me... Okay, so lucky for you, this reporter has integrity. If you want to remain incognito, uh, I'll respect your wish in exchange for a favor. Um, let's just go ahead and listen to him, I guess. What do you want? So we earned 80 XP just for listening. Nice, nice. I knew our listening skills. Uh, do, do we have a tech tree kind of like Skyrim where our, our listening skills have gone up now? We can we can unlock a new, a new uh, uh, I'm trying to think of what those are called. I, I can't think right now. Um, a new a new ability uh, that way. I don't know. Just... Hey, I knew you'd come around. Let me see your map. Wow, that map got big real Mark quick. where you need to go on your map. All you gotta do is find me some rough gemstones, like this one. Do this, and your ship will come in. Don't, and the papers will run you out of town. Capiche? Now that's a meal. That's corporate blackmail right there. You see that? That is corporate blackmail. We should turn that guy in. Ooh, he's really got your number into, but we need to figure that out. Like we made much effort to keep it secret. Even if we had, the press always finds a way. We needn't befriend him, but we'd best not make him our enemy. It smells good. You know what? I think it must be with the globe or something, the Inquirer. It smells good. It must be. So those are those security guys I was talking about, but they're not really security guys. They're more like uh, uh, the greeters and the uh, the people that see you at your table. That's basically what it is. What? Hold on, hold on. There's a cat just chilling here. It's a quest. Hold on. I just want to see what this is real quick. Hey, buddy. What's up? Taking a little stroll? How come you're all alone? You must be hungry. <laughs> Yeah, that's what I thought. Hold on a sec. I'll find you something. Well, gotta come up with some cat food. Could always buy some. Or we could fish for some. Excellent idea. Let's go. Excellent idea. Let's just go fishing real quick. We'll go ahead and feed this fi uh, this cat a nice, delicious, freshly caught fish. That sounds great. It's better than we do. Not really. Uh, anyway. So, uh, where do we even go fishing? I know it said the fishing spots, but <clears throat> I'm sure there's somewhere out here that we can go fishing, but I don't know. I, I guess we can work on that later. I need to go back this way. Alrighty, so let's go ahead and uh, go do this uh, next quest here that we need to do um, in order to, to figure out. 
figure out what exactly is, is going on. It looks like we have to head to the mineral deposit. Gentlemen's agreement. Alright, so yeah, let's just go ahead and do that, shall we? So that uh, we don't get run out of town by the paparazzi. You know, them paparazzi, they, they always cause them problems. Always cause them problems. No one in Hollywood is safe from the paparazzi around, I tell you what. They just want to live their normal lives in Hollywood just like everyone else, but no. Paparazzi, man, they just gotta, they just gotta, you know, do their thing. Take pictures, you know, of them while they're not, uh, you know, expecting it. So, this is what happens. We are royalty, so I guess it just kind of comes with the territory. Alright, so, a gentleman's agreement, one minute. Everything so, in order. Yep. Mm-hmm. guys so magic of video editing again uh, i will see you guys whenever we get there right about your lack of dignity you're one step above delivery boy the royal rank carries little weight outside the ground city glad it's not weighing me down it'd be a nice change of pace well, and it looks like we're going to be fighting here in a minute maybe possibly more than likely that way in the first place oh well took a little bit of a detour that's all right we saw some scenery saw some nice rocks some nice bushes they look dead though some of them so yeah no it's definitely uh i mean even even dead bushes can be beautiful right, so this way i wonder if there's a camp up here we're probably gonna camp uh before we do this next mission i'm pretty sure oh oh it's a bird we're supposed to get near that thing Pipe down before you wake it up. There's an item over there. I want to go pick it up, though. Hold on, can I go pick up that item real quick? No, I think it won't let me. It's pretty much an area where I gotta go. Jeez, that camera angle. <coughs> and of course it wakes up. Of course it does. Of course it's face. Oh, no, it doesn't wake up. It's just... Has a tail. Watch out, guys. Jeez, I can't. I can't get out of here. You guys are a bunch of wimps. Won't move out of my way. You guys just want to stand still. Gosh. A tail, though, it reminds me of a leaf, doesn't it? it totally reminds me of a leaf. That's probably where they got the color. We were just like looking outside one day. Well, what are we gonna base this creature off of? Oh, we're gonna make its tail a leaf. That's what we're gonna do. And they were like, yeah, that sounds like a bitchin' idea. That's just what they did. So I gotta walk 0.52 miles for that. Uh, heck no, am I gonna do that? Where the heck's my car? I'm gonna call my car. Uh, and no, I'm not going over the cliff. Is there another way that we can go? There's gotta be another way. There's gotta be, like, another way, like, okay, we might actually be able to take this, yeah, let's just jump down right here, maybe, yes, no, we're not allowed to, oh, no, we're not allowed to jump down, well, that's stupid, what if, though, what if we did this, okay. yeah. we do it then, alright, well, never mind that idea, we're just gonna have to go back, uh, to the car, around the bird, again, so, let's just go ahead and run, way because I want to <laughs> it's got like a rat tail too <laughs> just combine a whole bunch of things they were like dude dude what if now hold on guys before you say anything what if all right just just think what if we combined a leaf and a rat tail and made it into a bird and they were like what and they're like he's like I know I know but just just hear me out here let's just go ahead and draw up a concept idea and I'm sure you guys will love it. 
and I'm sure they did, and it also looks like it has sharp teeth, too. Ah! <laughs> of course it did. Of course it makes sense. And it's got wings on its head, too. So it's like... So it's like an eagle, like, on top of... So, <clears throat> why are we still crouching? Why did my guy just decide to fall off the cliff? Or we, we shouldn't have we to made be crouched it out alive. Barely! I seriously thought we okay. were at Journey's End. But that feat was fit for a king. Are they just gonna... Indeed. Okay, there we go. Yeah, they just spawned in. Alright, that's totally fine. Whatever. Let's just go ahead and get back to the car. That kind of sucked. That was kind of... Yeah. Alright, anyway. What is this called? Saul Head Pass. Interesting. Saul. They named it after after the Breaking Bad lawyer. So better call Saul. <laughs> Alright, let's go ahead and get back in the car here. Um, and then we're going to go ahead and head to the next place. Everything in order. Mm, yep. Um, so we got to drive to give Dino the stone. And I hope that's what we're doing right now. Oh yeah, he's just making a U-turn, but he, he had to wait for that car to pass. What a nice guy. Thank you for stopping. What a nice guy. And what a nice driver you are, too. That is some great AI for you to stop for the other drivers. That is awesome. I commend you. If I had a medal, I would give it to you. All right, guys. So, uh, again, uh, magic of video editing. We're going to go ahead and cut uh, to the uh, scene whenever we get back there. See you guys in a minute. Backing up, backing up, backing up. I don't Backing up, backing up, backing up. We need That's to replenish our supply of curatives. Gotcha. Anyway, so uh, after that lovely song that we just listened to in the car, uh, we are back here uh, at the docks. We got to deliver the stone to that reporter. Um, and it, I want to refuel. There we go. Yeah, that's totally fine. That's what I was trying to do, not try and jump. Huh? Sweet. Let's build up. Don't, don't, don't spill any now. Don't spill any. Man, they will put on your ass like freaking flies on a freaking June bug, man. That's ridiculous. All right. So anyway, tank is now full. Let's go ahead and watch out, bro. Anyway, we're gonna go ahead and head back out there. Uh, give that guy a stone. And what? This car is sick. What? I like this car. You know, our car is awesome, but I think this car is cooler. I would know if we just switched out cars. Yeah. But you know what? He probably wouldn't argue about that. He'd be like, yo, son. Yeah, you want to switch rides? That's fine with me. What, you got like a, a $300,000 uh, vehicle and uh, I got this, you know, this car that I only paid like ten grand for and then fixed it up? Yeah, why not? Why not? You know what? That seems like a fair trade. He'd be like, yeah, son, that's right. Totally fair trade. You accept that. You love that. <laughs> My tummy's rumbling. Let's maybe you should. Bite. Yeah, maybe you should get something to eat then if your tummy's rumbling. Or just stand uh, around and complain tree. about it. Do something yeah. about it. Welcome to Golden Key. Thank you. We were just here a minute ago. What's all this about the port closing? <sighs> Some kind of hold up on tissue. <clears throat> we have to stay another night. I can't recall having a I just love how our guys just like run through everyone. They're just like, whoa, like tripping out of the way, and our guys are just like, yeah, that's right, just move out of our way. That's how that works. This bites. How am I supposed to make my deliveries? What's all, all right, this about? Let's the go ahead and uh, talk to this guy. Deliver some kind of holdup in Altitia. Guess we have to stay another night. Nice work, kid. Sorry for giving you such a hard time. I just had to get my hands on this, even if it meant blackmail. You understand, don't you? You see, I'm a reporter by day and an amateur jeweler by night. This elusive little beauty's gonna become a masterpiece. To make it up to you, I'll share a little scoop. That special coin you got? It commemorates the Oracle's ascension. That guy was tossing them out to everyone. Must have picked them up back in Niflheim. And speaking of freebies, here's one from me. Come back if you want to buy more. I doubt a souvenir like that could make its way into the hands of an ordinary citizen. Oh well, it's our pocket change now. Let's learn from history and book a place this time. All right, so As promised, I'm in the process of securing your ferry tickets right now. Told you, 
I'm a man of integrity. Should be smooth sailing from here. So let me know when you're ready to ship out. I admit I didn't expect Dino to secure us a ship. Well, must be pretty connected if he can pull some strings around an Imperial embargo. Yeah, that guy's one artful artisan. Till next time, Dan. So I'm just trying to think here. Should we just go? I mean, I don't think we need anything else. You know what? I think we're just gonna go. And if not, well then. You guys ready to set sail? Like I said, as far as I know, we don't we don't actually need anything else. We're just gonna go. Already, the ship won't arrive till tomorrow. How about you find a place to spend the night? <laughs> well, you should have told me that then. Jeez. It's bedtime. Sounds good. <laughs> they're just gonna they're just gonna roll out sleeping bags right there on the dock. Just wait for it. We're gonna camp out, cook some famous fried rice balls. <laughs> Sweet. It's like elevator music, I love this. Well, report card, time, D, Ness, D, and offense, D. I think that's pretty damn good. I think that's what D stands for, pretty damn good. There should be a P in front of that, but uh, for this sake, we'll just go ahead and say that that stands for pretty damn good. All right, let's go ahead and go on to the next part here. I feel like I should be wearing like a hula skirt. Sweet. So we gained two times the XP. Um, sweet. Level six. Level seven. Jin. I like how we all level up at the same time. I, I wonder if later on in the game, uh, you know, we actually level up differently. I'm, I'm sure that that probably happens, especially whenever we use each other's um, skills. Like I know one's good at cooking, one's good at fishing. I think one's good at survival, and I forgot what the other one's good at. Maybe crafting. Um, so yeah, I, I think if we do those uh, separately, uh, then they of course level up differently um, at different times. But um, I, I kind of hope that it kind of stays around the same. Uh, you know, everyone kind of kind of staying around the same level. That would be, that'd be pretty nice. All right, let's go ahead and jump to the next part. Yeah, oh, uh, I was wrong. I was wrong a little bit. That's my bad. So yeah, I was close. So it was fishing, survival, uh, cooking, and photography. That's what it was. I thought it was crafting my bad but it was photography i remember after every level and i think we're gonna see a few snapshots here from this level and he's actually a level two in photography that is great yep there we go oh look at it look at it there it is ah oh, god yeah come on ah oh, yeah that, that, that's what that is that's what that is and again he's behind me instead of doing the bunny ears he's doing you know that that kind of weird like yeah look at me haha <laughs> he doesn't know i'm doing this oh that's great um <laughs> And then that just looks like Ozzy Osbourne in a weird kind of Johnny Depp, um, Iron Man kind of way. I don't, I don't really know what's going on there. That's, that's kind of weird. Um, and then I don't ever remember standing like that uh, in, in front of where we can order food, but uh, I guess that happened. Um, and we got a shot of the uh, of the paparazzi guy, the guy who blackmailed us. Great. So now we know. And actually, he kind of looks like a chick from this angle, I'm not going to lie. kind of looks like a punker chick. That's kind of weird. I don't know. It's, it's just the way his his nose, his eyes. I don't know. There's just something about it. There's just, I, I don't know what it is. Just call it, you know, intuition, whatever you want to call it. But it just, I don't know. There's just something about that picture. It's kind of hmm. weird. <laughs> there it is. There it is. Yep, yep. I like that one. And of course, you just had to take a picture whenever that bird could have just like... Now this head down just took a little chomp out of us. It would have been like, mmm, that was some good guys. Mm, I'm gonna have me another one. Oh, there I go. Oh, and another one. Well, I better head off and uh, get some more food. Yup. Yeah, that's what he pro. Uh, you know, just no. Nah, that's that's what you want right before you die. That's what you want. You want to take a picture of the thing that ate you. That's exactly what you want to do. Well taken. <laughs> and I don't know what he's holding there. I I cannot see that from here. What is that? Anyway, is that just his hand up in the air? Screw you, world! Up yours! But he's kind of he's kind of smiling and giving us a grin at the same time, just standing in the middle of the road. Again, I don't remember that, but that's that's kind of funny. All right, uh, and then there was no more. All right, so uh, let's go ahead and go on to the next part here. Um, let me double check something. Actually, you know what, guys? 
uh, actually, I'm going to go ahead and end this video here, um, and then the next episode, we're going to go ahead and do the next mission. We're going to go ahead and get out of this place um, and go on the ferry and go wherever we need to go. Uh, honestly, I don't really know where that is, but uh, we will find out together in the next episode. Uh, again, guys, um, don't forget to leave a comment down in the, uh, uh, in the subscription about the video. Uh, whether or not you know you guys want to see us continue playing this, if this is something that you're interested in, or if you guys are definitely interested in seeing us play another game, uh, go ahead and leave that in the comment section below as well. Um, also, don't forget to subscribe and like these videos because uh, it just helps us know, you know what, what kind of stuff you guys are interested in and what kind of stuff you guys want to see. Alrighty guys, well, have a great day, and I will see you in the next video. Peace!